Welcome to Golf Life, a show dedicated to your golf lifestyle. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Golf Life. Alyssa, it's been almost 14 months since you and I have been in the same place. And boy, do we have a golf show for you. That's right, Colton. It's so good to see you in person. We are here in sunny California with a lot of awesome content for your golf life. We took a trip down the road to Temecula, California, where we toured the beautiful Temecula Creek Golf Club. Plus, we hopped on a plane to Scottsdale to show you a training aid that can really help you on the range. That's right. We check out some great products from golfgrade.com. We get a putting tip from my coach, Mike Maggs, and good friend and pro golfer, Eileen Kelly. And then I get a bunker tip from Steve Saunders, one of the pros over at Temecula Creek Golf. But first, we're here in beautiful Palm Desert, California for the Grant Fear Celebrity Invitational that supports the Hazleton and Betty Ford Foundation. We're gonna go check that out. Let's do it. That's awesome. I, as a young guy, I might have been the problem child of the 80s. So I went through Hazleton Betty Ford back when it was just Betty Ford. So 1989-ish. You least known celebrities, I want you up front. That's me. <laughs> want all the good looking guys to my right. <laughs> Boudreau. <laughs> all the ugly dudes on my left. Where can we do this? Quicker, Quicker this nine hour round of golf ends. <laughs> yeah, baby. We had approached the Betty Ford Center before and they were really excited to have us a part of it. And we thought, you know, let's let's do this. I can run it, I'll do the whole thing and here we are. We, we established the Grant Peer Foundation, and we want to make this an annual event. With Ken Griffey Jr., Grant Peer at Michael Jordan's golf course, and he can do a fivesome, because you know why? It's his course. <laughs> this is a wonderful man. <laughs> Check it in. Check that, you go. That's pocket change. Going once, going twice, $35,000. So when the, the cameras and the lights are on, we make putts. Is that is that what the game is? That's what I do. <laughs> Dude, I'm used to playing in front of 100,000. Come on now. We're here to have fun, raise some money, and and also in, enjoy what uh, what golf is. Golf is a great walk in the woods, and it's just a, a great time to be together. You know, it's totally awesome. You know, these uh, events, uh, I'm kind of getting into them again uh, you know, with everything that's been happening in the last year. So there hasn't been a lot of traveling around and playing at events. So it's nice to get one going out here for the Betty Ford Foundation here and, and Grant and Lisa, you know, great friends, great people that uh, brought a lot of former friends and new friends that I'm, that I'm getting to see again. Betty Ford is a place where people can go get help and get better, them and their family. So um, support the cause, I'm totally in. At any time that this is here, I'm gonna help support it. We feel like we're about to raise some money for an outstanding cause. We feel good. You know, all the celebs out here, I've had the opportunity to play with them at different tournaments and different events, and some of them I've got friendships going back 30, 35 years. So Jim McMahon was our best man at my wedding. So that's how far back we go. But no, I've hung out with a lot of them for a number of years, and we kind of jump around and support each other's ideas and foundations, and the, the fact that they would come out here and spend the time and it means a lot to me. I came out because Grant Fuhr is a great friend of mine. Uh, I, I do you know, believe in the what they're doing there at the Betty Ford. I'm just, uh, we're just having a great time and, and uh, enjoying each other's company and hopefully we'll play a little better. First of all, it's a great cause, uh, the Betty Ford Center. Um, and then you have an additional, a, a, a great person that's obviously putting on the event. And, and there are a lot of worthy causes, but <clears throat> most often we come for the person. And Grant is a fantastic person. And we believe, you know, you're, you're rich by what you give and you're poor by what you keep. I'm so happy that Grant is having this tournament right now because it's for a great cause and, and for the fact that we can bring all the camaraderie back with the all the individuals that are uh, so competitive and enjoy our spirits and uh, come out and have fun. Anytime you can do anything to help someone and use whatever, quote, celebrity we have uh, to uh, raise monies to help other people. Uh, Grant and Lisa wanted us to come out here and, and certainly whatever they want, you know, will come to help. You're a sweet, strong 
see it actually, everybody out having a good time and having some fun, it's what makes it special. Everybody makes mistakes in life. That's right. The fact that you don't have to live with that mistake, it's fixable. And life can be fantastic. I mean, I gotta say I'm spoiled right now. Mm. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Alyssa, last month we showed you how Dave Bisbee, top teacher, used the swing jacket to work on connection in the golf swing. Now he's back using the swing jacket, working on weight shift. Let's go check it out. Hey guys, we're here at Desert Mountain Community with top teacher Dave Bisbee. Dave, it's the ultimate goal to get to the target side in our swing, correct? Yeah, and really what you're talking about there is weight shift, yeah? Mm -hmm. um, and weight shift really comes at the end of a sequence in the swing. If I turn that shoulder out of the way in the backswing, my weight naturally moves to that side. On the through swing, if I turn that shoulder out of the way, rotate through, my weight shifts to that front foot. And what we see with a lot of golfers is on the way through, the shoulders work this way. Yeah. And if the shoulders are working that direction, the center stays behind and then the weight doesn't shift, it stays on that back foot. Dave, you worked with an older generation golfer, great swing, great golfer, but he wanted to get more distance, you got to fix for him. Yeah, when we put Scott into the swing jacket, what it really pointed out to him was, he was really swinging kind of half speed. And what I mean by that is, Scott wasn't clearing onto this side. He wasn't getting that turn through. Arms become disconnected from the, from the torso. When we put the jacket on him, it really gave him the feel of where that lead arm goes in the through swing and allowed him to turn and rotate through which gave him automatically more speed and got him that nice little tight draw back again. Where can people find out more about Swing Jacket, maybe get one for themselves? Just go to swingjacket.com. Dave, appreciate it, thank you. If you're looking for a quick, easy, and efficient way to stay connected throughout the golf swing, give Swing Jacket a try. Head over to swingjacket.com right now to start improving those scores today. Swingjacket.com. When we return, we go out to Temecula, California and tour the 27-hole Temecula Creek Golf Club. And Mike Max shows us a useful putting aid called the Goal Post. That's next. When I was a kid, we used to hit golf balls off a bottle. Why? It was teed up high, you'd swing up on it, you could kill it, hit it forever. Well, now there's a teaching aid called the Bottle Tee. Easy to use, goes in your bag. What does it do for you? Because it's up in the air, my tendency, I don't want to hit down on it. I'm going to want to get turned, come from the inside, and catch it slightly on the upswing. Because if I can do that, I launch it up in the air, it's going to go a lot better. Plus, my path is so much better with that ball sitting up there. So just by putting it on a tee, it changes your mind's perception or the task of what the club has to do, which changes your swing. That's a pretty good teaching aid that does all that without you thinking. Head over to BottleTea.net. You'll get two bottle tees and two four yards more tees for $24.95. Get free shipping now at BottleTea.net. The bottle tee gives you a new picture, gives you a new feel, and it's going to change your swing. It's something you need to have in your bag. Colton, we had the pleasure of touring the Temecula Creek Golf Club and their 27-hole property. We caught up with the head pro and assistant pro to learn more about this beautiful golf course. Hey, we're joined with the course pro here at Temecula Creek Golf Club. Steve Saunders, Steve, appreciate you letting us come out to this beautiful property. Thank you for being here, man. Give me a lay of the land of this place. What's it all about? Yeah, so Temecula Creek is the resort here on property and we're the golf course, Temecula Creek Golf Club. We got 27 holes here and it's really fun here. It's one of the things I actually like best about working here is each nine's uh, quite a bit different than the other. So depending on which uh, two of the three courses you play for your normal 18 hole rotation, you can have a lot of uh, variability in your rounds and it's a lot of replayability because of it because you get to play a lot of different styles of courses and a lot of different ways to play. What was the architect thinking when he was building these three? Yeah, so the original golf course was built in 1969 and it just had two nines here. So it was only 18 holes originally. And it was the Creek course and the Oaks course. That was our uh, original 18 that we had here. And it's remained pretty much the same as far as I know since we, since we began. And then, you know, after, uh, I think in the mid nineties, we added another nine out here called the Stonehouse course. So it's much newer. 
different architect, so it's got a little different feel and style to it. But even with the Creek and the Oaks course, they're two very different nines. So like the Creek course, which we're on right now, very flat kind of park style course, um, you know, tree lined holes, nothing too much going on. The Oaks course is more of a championship style course, goes out in the native areas a little bit, uh, some elevation change, a little longer, a little harder. And then uh, the Stonehouse course, which is our newest course, it has a lot of elevation change, dog legs, blind shots. It's very like desert target golf style. And um, depending which two of the three you play for a normal round of golf, it, you can get a lot of different experiences out here, which makes it fun. We've been seeing continuous upgrades over the last three years. Uh, most recently, these nice new golf carts we're riding in, we just got a month ago. So, um, you know, the golf course has never been better. The hotel is constantly getting upgraded. Our restaurants improved a lot. We've got our golf shop renovated and like, you know, the course conditions are, are awesome right now. Shay, we're excited to be out here at Temecula Creek. So the golf course has three nines. Which one is your favorite? Wow, that's hard to chew from. I mean, all three nines are beautiful. They're great here at Temecula Creek Golf Club. The only thing I would like to say that my favorite course would be the Stone House. I love that one. Why is that? It's just so, it's different. It's the most scenic one. You know, you got the highest point on hole six. Allow you to see all of, a uh, little bit of Temecula, see the traffic in the afternoon time. Yeah, we're happy we're on the course exactly. and not out there, right? Exactly, and that's one of why it's one of my favorite ones. It reminds me of how lucky I am to be here, to be here at Temecula Creek Golf Club. Absolutely, and tell me a little bit about the programs that you guys have here. Well, as we, we have at least four solid good instructors here. Uh, we give junior clinics. Uh, we also help with the Pechanga Pichang, Youth uh, Tribal uh, Golf Clinic. And we also do club club fitting. Oh, very cool. So tell me about that beautiful restaurant when we're coming in off the nine. What what is that called? What do they offer? Uh, the Core Fire Grill. Um, it's it's got some delicious food there. Uh, it offers brunch on the weekends, also dinner and also breakfast. Oh, nice, great. So where can people book a stay and play package, you know, get a lesson or experience this beautiful, beautiful golf course? Yeah, the golf course here, Temecula Creek Golf Club is TemeculaCreekGolf.com and for the resort, you want TemeculaCreekIn.com. We appreciate it, thank you. Thank you so much. Let's Henry. go hit a putt. Cheers, let's do it. Let's go out to the magnificent Pachanga Resort and Casino in Temecula, California with your coach, Mike Maggs, and Eileen Kelly, professional golfer. They're gonna show you the golf host. So not to worry, Swing Align has your entire short game covered. They also do putting. The goal posts, another tool that they just came out with that makes you hit that sweet spot every single time. So let's take a little look at that. Great tool for your putting, helps you hit that sweet spot all the time. As you get better and better, you can actually bring these little rubber tabs out and making it more and more difficult to get through the goal posts, making your putts more and more perfect. This little indicator on top allows you to line up the line on the ball with this indicator getting you to roll it true and clear every single time. Eileen here is a pro golfer, but you don't need to be a pro like Eileen to use this tool. Everyone needs to get themselves aligned. Everyone needs to hit that sweet spot. What do you think this tool is gonna do for your putting? Uh, well, a couple of things. I think alignment's very important. Some days if I've been doing a lot of travel and then I have to show up and play somewhere, I find that if I just roll a couple putts using some sort of alignment aid like such as this, it gets my eyes working, everything kind of just feeling, I can feel more confident. And then with the sweet spot, it's actually really helpful because you get automatic feedback. It's like negative reinforcement because yeah, right. you're just like, oh, I'm not even hitting the center of the, my putter face. Um, so kind of just automatically you have to feel uh, what you need to do in order to hit that sweet spot. This is the swing align and these tools are gonna work perfectly together by, guess what, aligning you, right? If we're lined up for our putts, go ahead and set up, we have a much better chance of hitting it straight. Every single putt is a straight putt and this is gonna get us lined up. Imagine if we're a little bit open, very difficult to get through those goal posts. A little bit closed, very difficult. We wanna be square with the stick, square with the indicator, square with the goal post, square with the target, and we're gonna roll that ball right in the hole. Beautiful. The goal post here is gonna help us with the keys to putting, alignment. We've gotta get that putt aligned with the target line. Center face contact, we've got to hit the center of the face. And lastly, we've got to square the face up to the target line, otherwise we're not gonna make those putts. 
you want to be a putting pro like Eileen, you can pick up these tools at swingtrainer.com. You'll be putting true in no time. If you want to learn more about the goalposts and all the other alignment tools from Swing Align, go to swingtrainer.com. Get an exclusive TV offer right now at swingtrainer.com. Next on Golf Life, we highlight a great product from golfgrade.com that can really help your game from the comfort of your own backyard. And we interview the CEO of Fat Scooters, Tim Moran, about the growth of the single rider. Hi, I'm Tom Pernice Jr. I want to tell you a little bit of something about the power package. You can attach it to your own club and it really helps you learn and understand how to set the golf club to start your golf swing and how to maintain that power package back down in front of you. For the first time in you know, my 50 years of playing, I really learned where and how the club was to be set properly the initial part of the backswing. There's very little that you can do to mess up while using the power package. It's very simple and it gives you instant feedback, which is the best thing. And I could utilize this tool for myself. I didn't need somebody to tell me what was happening or what was not happening. Big difference in just, I get to go on the golf course and hit golf shots that I've never been able to hit before. And that's powerful. You can get your own power package today by visiting powerpackagegolf.com. Call 888-428-1400. Get the hottest swing trainer to hit the tour in years, risk-free, by visiting powerpackagegolf.com. Don't go anywhere, because we're on the back nine with Golf Life when we return. This segment is presented by GolfGrade.com. Looking for new ways to improve your golf game? GolfGrade.com features new and innovative products that you won't find anywhere else. Use code TV for discounts and enjoy a better golf game at GolfGrade.com. Hey guys, we're here with a great product that we think is really helping the game of golf grow. It's called Almost Golf. Now whether you're new to the game or a player that plays five times a week, this product right here can really help your game indoors or outdoors safely. Almost Golf has several different items that you can utilize to have fun while practicing indoors or outdoors. What we have here is the Almost Golf Practice Pack. In this practice pack, you're going to get one 36-inch inflatable pole that you're going to hit the golf balls into. You're also going to get a detachable flag, 24 golf balls, and a storage bag. This is the perfect setup if you're playing in your backyard or a neighborhood park. Work on your short game and even play a game with your friends. But the star of the show are these almost golf balls. They are the ultimate off-course ball. You're going to get tour quality ball flight at a third of the distance. These are not just your regular foam golf balls. They have the ability to hit draws and fades so you can work on your shot shaping with your long irons. On top of all that, they are neighborhood safe. So there's no risk of breaking any windows or hurting anybody. Tee it up and swing away. What's also great about Almost Golf is the indoor capabilities. Whether you're using a simulator just like this or just chipping into a net, you can work on your game safely indoors. Use the practice stick to easily pick up those golf balls. Spend less time picking up and more time hitting. Get the practice pack and everything they have to offer at almostgolf.com. If you're looking for a true practice golf ball that is safe indoors and outdoors that will really get your game going in the right direction, we encourage you to go to almostgolf.com. Head over to almostgolf.com. Here's Tim Moran, the CEO of Fat Scooters, and Alyssa Kesar from Palm Desert, California. I'm here with Tim Moran, CEO of Fat Scooters, and we've been to some really exclusive clubs lately, and just everybody is absolutely loving the single rider vehicle, and you guys are sort of that, that pioneer in the space. Talk to me about that. Yeah, so we're getting adoption throughout many of the top end courses in, in the U.S. We, we're seeing the, the enjoyment of riding a fat scooter playing golf, and uh, we definitely are committed to stay in that space, and we're definitely going to make sure that uh, fat scooter stays in the lead there. You can't, you can't drive far without seeing electric vehicles on the road. you got the Teslas and the Fords. You guys are, you are the number one when it comes to electric vehicles on the golf course. Sure, yeah. Um, so it's just like riding a bike, right? So you, we all remember how to ride a bike. It's an old saying. Riding fat scooters is the same. The sustainability, the fact that we have an electric vehicle that can do 30 to 50 miles, 
I think it has many applications within the golf community and beyond, right? I take it to work three days a week. Absolutely. It definitely helps with, you know, speed of play. You can go right to your ball and kind of stay in your groove. Uh, I know you said you've had that experience with it. Yeah, just recently my brother sold his company. He had, uh, we did like a mini masters in Scottsdale and, you know, you can't go out and play when you haven't played for a couple of years. And so I went out and played. I went to Warwind, played on a single fat scooter, shot around a 90, 91. Fine. No cheating. And uh, kept the foot wedge in the bag. Kept the foot wedges in the bag because I got to play it honest when it comes to your little brother who's six seven, by the way. So long story short, we went out and played uh, Scottsdale. We played uh, Weka Paw and Greyhawk. And the reality was is that we played in a cart, and I found it much more slower. I found it mo much more difficult for me to stay focused. So that you know, the fat scooter experience that I had whirlwind was go to the ball, play the game, enjoy it. And the game was quicker. The the maintenance on the course is less. So I, I just see the adoption of it becoming more and more prevalent in golf. We are so excited to have you guys as a partner for the last three years. We're looking forward to all. We're excited. <laughs> we're excited. We're we're looking forward to all the fun and exciting things that you guys have going on in the future, and you know, to see you guys pop up on pop up on more golf courses all throughout the country. Sure. Thank you very much. And it's you know, Golf Life's been a great great uh, advocate for us, and we're going to continue to push in the golf community and help uh, the the player have a better round. Yep. And we'll keep doing our part to make sure that everybody knows about Fat Scooter. Thank you. Paint Stewart Kids Golf Foundation has the mission to develop healthy kids for life through the fun of golf. Paint Stewart was a gracious and passionate man who strived to provide better athletic opportunities for the youth. Today his golf foundation is preserving that legacy by creating a golf tournament to support kids golf learning experiences at boys and girls clubs nationwide. This September, you and your buddies can play a single round at a golf course of your choosing with proceeds sending kids in need to golf camps. On the other side, Alyssa gets a bunker lesson from Steve Saunders from Temecula Creek Golf Club. That's next. Make a difference in a child's life by playing in the Payne Stewart Kids National Golf Tournament for an early bird fee of $39. Join one of three divisions, men's, women's, and co-eds with prizes for the top five teams in each division. The tourney is run through 18 birdies, a free golf app in the App Store. Every player in the nationwide tournament will receive golf merchandise worth $50, plus a free month of 18 birdies premium service. Be like Payne Stewart and help send kids in need to a summer golf camp. To register, go to paintstewart.org. PainStewart.org. Let's go back out to Temecula Creek Golf Club with Steve Saunders for a great bunker tip. Hello, I'm Steve Saunders, head professional here at Temecula Creek Golf Club. I'm here with the list on the eighth hole of the creek course, and we're gonna work on today hitting maybe the most difficult shot in golf, which is the long bunker shot. We're in the front greenside bunker here. And we've got about 35 yards to the hole. Now, normally this would be really, really challenging. But I'm gonna show you a different way that maybe you haven't thought of to help you get this ball all the way back there without having to try so hard. All right, sounds good. I need all the bunker help I can get. <laughs> good deal. So tell me what club you have in your hand right now. How are you gonna hit this shot? This is my sand wedge. Your sand wedge, perfect. Now, normally sand wedge would be a great club to use. We want that, th that club that we can splash in the sand, lift the ball out and get it to bounce nice and easy on the green. But we're pretty far away now, so we're gonna actually think about a little bit different strategy to do this. Okay. Now I've got your nine iron here. I'm gonna give you a nine iron instead of your sand wedge, and I can hold your club oh, for you. Thank you. Now all you're gonna do with that nine iron is we're gonna set up for a normal bunker shot. Okay. But we're just gonna turn the club open a little bit to the right, and we're gonna grip it slightly in that open position. Okay. And we're gonna aim a little bit left of the hole, not too far left, maybe five feet left of the hole. Okay, so. Help me with my... Even, even more straighter than that. Keep Angle your feet a little more right, closer to the pin. There okay. you go, perfect, pretty straight. Okay. There you go, good. Okay. Now okay. all you're gonna do is very much the same as you might think about hitting a normal bunker shot. You're gonna aim about one golf ball width behind it. Here, I'm gonna draw a little line in the sand for you. Okay. Yeah. Great shot, well done. Let me trade spots with you and let me see if I can pull one off here too myself. Okay. Here, I'll, give you, I'll give you my weapons. I'll okay, take these. show me how it's done. So for the folks at home, that's exactly like what we're looking for. What we're gonna do is you're gonna take basically your normal golf setup. You're not really gonna do anything all that fancy. Only thing you're gonna do is maybe get a little extra weight in your front foot. And then you're gonna aim about one golf ball behind. And you're gonna hold the club in a slightly open position here. And then from there, all you have to do is just hit the sand about a ball behind it and let that thing pop right out and cruise on up to the hole. So for the people that are in the area of Temecula Creek Inn or those passing through, how can they get some lessons with you? Absolutely, you can visit us on our website, temeculacreekinn.com or temeculacreekgolf.com. 
We've got a hotel here on property with stay and play packages. We love having people come out, come and play, grab a couple lessons and get better and have some fun. Sounds great. Thanks so much. Thank you. We caught up with Matt Fisher, Mr. Short Game, to learn more about how he's using the V1 game app on and off the golf course. Hey guys, Matt Fisher here, AKA Mr. Short Game, and I've been using the V1 game app for a number of months now. On course, helps my practice game, and I'm really loving what's happening so far. The V1 game app has really helped improve my game specifically because it gives me the stats that I need so that I know what I need to do when I go practice. So if my mid iron game is off, I know it just through the game app, it keeps the stats for me. So then when I go to the range or practice, I know, like I said, specifically what areas of my game are weak. So the biggest difference I've seen with V1 game versus you know some of the other ones out there is I don't have to attach anything to my club at all. You know, the V1 game app just keeps a really GPS record of where I hit the ball from and where it went. So I would really encourage everybody to go to the app store, download the free V1 game app and give it a run, test drive, you know, see if it helps your game. I know it's helped mine. Thanks for watching Golf Life. Be sure to visit us at golflife.com for more golf content and check us out on social media for daily videos and reviews and we'll see you next round.